Major League Soccer is coming to America's finest city. Welcome to The Four. I'm Marcella Lee. Heather Myers has the day off. I'm Carlo Cicchetto. CBS 8's Jake Gariani is live at Snapdragon Stadium, where just hours ago, MLS announced an expansion team has been awarded to San Diego. Big day, Jake. Yeah, Marcella, Carlo, what a monumental day really for San Diego and its sports market. We were in there earlier today and this building was buzzing with excitement that MLS is truly coming here. The announcement was officially made. Now we pretty much all already knew that it was going to happen, but that did not take away from the excitement that was felt from everybody in that building and soccer fans around the county and the country really. And what made this possible was one, this building behind me, right? You need a place to play. And once Snapdragon got put up, it made it possible in two money. And that's where Egyptian billionaire Mohammed Mansour comes in. He helped back this with the Saquon tribe, our local Saquon tribe, a $500 million expansion fee as a part of getting this team here. And today I caught up with all the important people that made it possible. Mr. Mansour, why this market and why now? Well, it's the opportunity uh, was here. Uh, we couldn't. Uh, we're very pleased and fortunate to be uh, to be selected. We've worked at it in the last uh, year or so, and I think it's a great place to be. I mean, San Diego is an amazing city. It's an amazing community, and we want to be part of it. We want to have a, a great football club that's great for the fans, that's for the fans, that will be kicking off in 2025. So, what are your expectations for the fan base here? You know, I, I expect it to be really big and, and passionate. Uh, this is a soccer market. You know, you have soccer history here well before Major League Soccer came into town. And we've looked at the success of the wave and the passionate support of the loyal. And, you know, we have no doubt, Tom Penn, who's the president, has no doubt that this stadium will be packed, it'll be rocking. We wanted to build something for the community of San Diego. We wanted to give every fan, every person in our community a reason to come to this stadium. And MLS is a big part of that. We've been supporting uh, professional sports in San Diego to the tunes of millions of dollars in sponsorships over the last 30 to 40 years and it's just been a dream that today we are at the owner's table. We feel like we want to be either San Diego football club, so San Diego FC, or should we put the football first? Should it be football club of San Diego, like FC San Diego? That'll be a one. It'll be either FC San Diego or San Diego FC. That's, I think, yeah. Okay. You heard it here first. Yeah. Yeah. Breaking news. Yeah. Yeah, so how about it? A little bit of breaking news there. You now know one of the two options for the team name, which was up in the air. It'll either be Football Club of San Diego or San Diego Football Club. And uh, the only other piece of surprising news that really came in today was that San Diego Padres star Manny Machado is going to be a part owner in this club. And in fact, we got a chance to catch up with him as well. The biggest thing is the community. I mean, I think, uh, you know, we, we, we've, we've put our roots into this community and we're going to continue to do that. And I think this is a big part of it. Um, you know, we got a big soccer hub here with, with kids growing this, growing in the sport. The sport is growing all over all over the country, all over the, you know, the world. So, um, you know, to be to, to have my hands on some of this and, and to, um, you know, share my knowledge, um, you know, could be a big impact. You, you know what this fan base can be like firsthand, Petco Park. What, what do you think it could be like here for MLS? I think it's going to be huge. I think soccer is, is one of the, the most electric um, sports you could you could have. And um, knowing how our fans are, I think uh, you know this roof is going to be uh, is going to be very loud. I'll tell you that. It is going to be a lot of fun when they begin play here in this stadium in 2025. They will be the 30th club in MLS. And you guys, I think this is one of the most untapped markets in all of sports because of how big and how crazy soccer fans out here really are. I mean, just look at what the Wave have done. This is going to be a lot of fun, you two. You got the breaking news, though. FC yes. San Diego or San Diego FC. Yes. So, so the big follow-up, do we have colors and a crest yet for the team because while the name might be just a, a little straightforward that crest and those colors those could be a real difference maker so we did ask about that they said those will come a little later down the line maybe summertime i have heard some rumors about the colors maybe red black whitish but uh, but we have nothing official that i can bring you but i'm sure it will be fantastic when they have it and everyone will be wearing it across their chest and i cannot wait to see snapdragon stadium going crazy for this team if they did keep those colors what kind of go along with the theme of the stadium i think some people were hoping maybe to get their say but maybe on social media people will vote for one or the other. No cute names like Carlo was suggesting yesterday.
What were you suggesting? Oh, I, would, I, I was good with waves. FC, but I said if we we're going to go with the wave, you know, we could do Riptide or yes. something to play off the waves. But I'm good with FC, either, uh -huh. e either place, too. You know, as long as you win, nobody cares what it's called, right? <laughs> <laughs> Isn't that the truth? All right, so excited. Uh, so much excitement in the air. Thanks so much for that breaking Thanks, news, Jake.